What if someone made Google Safe Browsing flag a website by hosting a malicious site locally? I have seen many posts here about, etc., hosts, but I don't see them addressing this issue. The issue is, if a person adds 127.0.0.1mywebsite.com to their, etc., hosts file and 127.0.0.1 has dangerous social engineering and other malicious content. When they access mywebsite.com in Chrome, which has the safe browsing technology, will it blacklist the domain? If it will, then that would be a serious problem to the actual holder of the website. I don't want to try this. But, any suggestion about this? Also, if they created a self-signed certificate and trusted it for HTTPS on sites with HSTS. I am not sure if you can create a custom DNS server, because Google Safe Browsing might not want to flag websites inside the, etc., hosts file, creating a custom DNS server might stop it from excluding the domain. That would be a problem too right? And if they can create a custom DNS server, they could make host the malicious website on a web hosting provider to make it public and pointed the poor domain to that IP address. So, even if Google Safe Browsing avoided 127.0.0.1, that would be a problem too. This is a really serious problem if any of the above works. When the access mywebsite.com in Chrome, which has the safe browsing technology, will it blacklist the domain? No. Google Safe Browsing and similar technologies don't rely on a single user reporting a problem. They know that the no user or a user's setup, which might be infected with malware, can be fully trusted. Note that if you change the IP address for a domain using the host's file or your own DNS the change only affects you and not a Google bot visiting the site or some other users. Note that if the mechanism for blacklisting a site would be vulnerable for such easy manipulation it very likely would already have been used in denial of service attacks, i.e. getting a competitor's site blacklisted so that users can not longer visit it.